850 days down, about 177 to go, and progress on construction of the new Sarah Long Bridge is hard to miss. Three of four 200-foot towers are done, the fourth should be next week. And two of six 100-foot steel beams that will make up the center lift span just floated in by barge. Yeah, they weigh about 416,000 pounds a piece and uh, the six pieces together when fully assembled with the uh, additional uh, lifting, lifting beams and uh, fascia beams that will weigh around 4 million pounds. The new access road is now taking shape on the Portsmouth side. The first two of 15 spans have been completed over Market Street in New Hampshire. What makes this project unique is that it's a lift tower that's built in segments, like a giant Lego set, and that it serves both vehicles and rail traffic. The center span will go up for ships and lower to connect train tracks below. And I believe that's the only one in North America um, of, of, that operates in a similar manner. There is a bridge similar to this one in Bordeaux, France, but it was not segmentally cast. The Sarah Long is one of three bridges connecting Maine and New Hampshire who split the $158 million cost. It's considered the primary backup to the High 95 Bridge. There's a lot of challenges. It's a very complicated structure and then working in this marine environment and uh, the weather conditions, working on the river with the tides. The contractual date to open is September 1st, and Taylor says the schedule is a bit behind, but they hope to make it up. The bridge might actually close a few times next winter to fine-tune some things with the whole project wrapped up by the following June. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.